Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and last night was the season six premiere of The Masked Singer. Night one, by the way. Night one, because we have another night tonight. And so right now, I wanted to break down all the clues, the pitch correct audio, which is the first for this season, and a couple other things before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so please make sure you are subscribed. But let's get started. So, wow, man. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! They left us with a cliffhanger at the end of the episode. As it was promoted, there was going to be two eliminations last night. And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> there wasn't two reveals last night. There were two eliminations. Long story short, we saw Group 5 perform. That's the skunk, the bull, the octopus, Mother Nature, and the pufferfish. Two people were eliminated. The first one being, ready for this? Bada 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 boom. The octopus. And the octopus was revealed to be Dwight Howard. NBA champion, the one and only Dwight Howard. Now, as it was inching closer and closer to nine, because I'm watching the, the, the clock and I'm like, it's 8.59. Are they gonna reveal this person? Which the second person was eliminated <laughs> this was the mother nature costume and i think it's funny because it hit nine o'clock and that was the end of the episode it was like come on man so we don't find out who is under the mask of mother nature until tonight's episode and remember if you join us at 7 p.m we're gonna go through these clues and a couple other things later on uh so join us for the mask singer pre-show live stream at 7 p.m here on this youtube channel but man, they really left us on a cliff cliffhanger, and I'm like, man, why are you doing this? We want to know who this is, so it begs the question. Do we still have two reveals tonight on tonight's episode? I mean, technically speaking, someone was, two people were eliminated yesterday, so are there two reveals today? I know we're getting two new wild cards, so the question is, Mother Nature gets eliminated, two people in there, then two come on, so then one's got to come off. I know. You are as confused as I am, but at the same time, I'm so excited. Because they keep changing up the format, and I really like it. It's one of those things that they're keeping it fresh, which keeps it very interesting. Anyway, I went ahead and wrote down all of the clues from last night's episode. What they said, the visual clues, and the pitch correct audio. And so we're going to break all that down for you guys. Now, the pitch correct audio, we're going to wait until the end of the video. But for those who have no idea what that is, every single episode, we have celebrities pretty much giving clues about themselves, but Fox is smart. They're like, hey, we can't let them speak with their real voice because if we do, people are going to recognize it. So they take the audio, they speed it up and pitch it up or pitch it down, depending on which one they go with. Because sometimes they really change it depending on the person's voice. And so we get stuck with this weird audio. Now I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City and I figured I could slow this down and pitch correct it so that we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now that plus the clues, we can determine who is under the mask. Now for last night's episode, we had a lot of celebrities playing around with this pitch correct audio and making it so that they're trying to disguise their voice. And they did a pretty good job of that. But anyway, we're going to get to the pitch correct audio at the end of the video. So please stay with me. Right now, we're going to break down the clues. I have them all typed up on my computer. And right now, we're going to start off with, let's go with the skunk. She goes on to say, I chose to be the skunk because I relate to the duality. The yin and yang of it all. And while life's not always black and white, there are always two sides to the story. And I'm here to tell you mine. Over the years, I've seen it all, honey. There might be misconceptions that I'm quick to get into a fight, so someone who fights a lot. Verbally, not physically. But honey, that couldn't be further from the truth. I've learned you don't always have to react when provoked. And then we find out that she's pretty much a diva at this point. <laughs> I took a break for a moment to focus on family, but I'm ready to get back out there. So someone who has maybe been out of singing for a while, and now they're finally back at it. There were some visual clues. We saw a golden train, which made me scream, you know, soul train, because it was golden. Then we were on the train. There was a ticket that says, ticket to soul. Soul train again. Soul train again. We had a few men in black holding up newspapers that pretty much said, did Jenny lose her mind? 
Did she? She probably is now because Ken got that one right. Then we saw a vase with a D, which we got the diva. And then we saw a hater spray. Those are some pretty good clues. Pretty, pretty good. Next, we're continuing on to the puffer fish. I love that costume, by the way. I think it's so much fun. She goes on to say, I'm excited about becoming the puffer fish because I know a thing or two about defending myself. Puffer fish, when something gets near it, they blow up defending themselves. For most of my life, I mean, I wanted to blend in, but I just couldn't. I was that weird kid in science class who made a mess of all the experiments. And don't get me started about singing, and not necessarily in a good way. I was ridiculed a lot, so I had to learn to stand up for myself. I think that's what made me so successful. And tonight, I'm hoping to stand out like I've done my whole life. Visual clues, she was sucked up into a spaceship, a spaceship, a disco ball, a law scale, but they also had the science equipment, the flasks on there. We saw a boomerang and then a Spanish guitar, because guitar is a different kind of a guitar. It's more like, a, it's more round on the bottom, which leads me to believe that this person is trying to indicate that they are Latino or Hispanic. I'm more, I'm gonna say we're Latino. Anyway. Those are all the clues for the puffer fish. Next is the bull. And the bull, oh my gosh. We're gonna see the bull for a while. This guy can really sing and he says he's shy. Fib, fib, because you're so talented, man. He says, I grew up in a small town that was surrounded by cows. Most people in the town didn't really go anywhere, but I always had bigger dreams. So I left and I traveled around the entire world looking for my destiny to be the greatest of all time. The doors I knocked on simply don't open. I heard no again, again, and again, but I didn't give up. I became my own boss as someone who owns their own business and eventually Hollywood and Forbes took notice. So someone who went from a sport built their way up and now has a successful business and Hollywood knows them very well, Forbes Magazine. There is so much left for me to prove, and I want to do that here. Visual clues. A painting of a bull. We saw Cooper's Town, which is where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. We saw Astro from Season 4, a.k.a. Hunter Hayes, which... Still call him Astro. That's his nickname, we still call him that. And the last clue was a lion. Which made me think that this person probably was on the Detroit Lions? Could that be true? I don't know, you let me know in the comment section. And now for the last one, Mother Nature, who we know for a fact is getting revealed tonight. And I want you to really listen to the pitch correct audio because a lot of you guys are guessing someone a lot younger. And when you listen to it, it's someone who's older. And oh my gosh, when you listen to it, you're like, I know that voice. I know who it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Go through the clues. I promise you, you're going to get this one. I'm excited to be Mother Nature because I've done it all. I've got an accent now. I'm excited to be Mother Nature because I've done it all. As seasons change, so did I. But there's one thing I never had the chance to do. Be a mother. It took me a while to come to terms with it until I realized the family I already had. Even though I'm not a mother, I'm very protective of the ones I love. And if you come after them all cray cray, this whole land of shame will come your way, honey. Visual clues included a penny, Wayne Brady, and a sparkler. Not too many clues for this one. I don't know why, but I feel like the Wayne Brady clue, not having children or something really big and the pitch correct audio is definitely gonna help you out. So comment below who you think mother nature is. Remember, she is 100% going home tonight. And now, as you guys know, I don't normally do guesses until we get two episodes of each, which today we get the second one. So maybe next week we might have our first reveal. I don't know yet. I'm gonna sit down and really dive into these clues. Because like Mother Nature, for example, there really isn't too many. We need tonight's clues to really solidify who we think it is. Now it's time for the pitch correct audio. And earlier I mentioned that they're trying to really fool us with this audio this year. I think that the producers told them to speak in a different voice because Octopus, who we already knew was revealed to be Dwight Howard. He went ahead and spoke like this. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example, just this way you can understand where I'm coming from with this pitch correct audio. Here's the original audio they gave us. My mom, it's her favorite show. Now as I slow it down and pitch correct it, 
You can hear him talking like this. Take a listen. My mom is her favorite show. Now the puffer fish did exactly the same thing and you'll hear that once she starts speaking. But I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of the original audio and then play our audio. I'm just gonna put them all together for you guys. And while it's going on, listen, you may have to play it a few times because they don't speak long. So take a listen and then comment below who you think it is. Here you go. Well, Nick, you might find this as a huge surprise, but I'm actually quite shy about singing, so. Well, Nick. You might find this as a huge surprise, but I'm actually quite shy about singing, so... I felt like it was time for me to take a big leap and do something that I haven't done in a long time. I felt like it was time for me to take a big leap and do something that I haven't done in a long time. Cause she is queen of the sea! Cause she is queen of the sea! Because Mother Nature is a force to be reckoned with. She's beautiful and scary at the same time. Because Mother Nature is a force to be reckoned with. She's beautiful and scary at the same time. So there you guys go. Please comment below who you think they are. Mother Nature, that voice, it sounds so familiar, am I right? Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, we are live tonight at 7 p.m. for the Mask Singer pre-show live stream on a Thursday. On a Thursday! Could you believe this? Anyway, I want to thank you again for joining me. I'm Joey. Please stay safe, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.